Hey, what is up YouTube? Lando Tech here and in this video, I'll be showing you how to block ads on your Fire TV stick. If you're tired of your home screen being cluttered with ads and sponsored content from third party apps, then watch this video all the way through and I'll show you exactly how to get your Fire TV from this to this. All I ask in return is for you to like this video and subscribe to see more content like this. To start, we'll first need to turn on dev mode so that we can sideload apps. To do that, go to the last icon on the right side. Then move down and select My Fire TV. Click About. Then click your Fire TV stick name seven times until it says you are already a developer. Now press the home button to go back to the main screen. From the main screen, move over to the second last icon on the right and click it. Scroll down and click App Store. Scroll down, move to the left and click Search. Search for Downloader. Click Downloader and click Download. Once the download is complete, open it. Click Allow, click OK, then click the search box. Now type the following download code. 5166134. Then click Go. The Projectivity app will start downloading. When the download is complete, click Settings. Click Install Unknown Apps. Click Downloader to turn it on. Click Back and Back again. Now click Install and Install again. When the installation is complete, click Done. Click Delete and click Delete again. Now press the Home button. Go over to the right side, then down to My Apps. Now look for the Projectivity Launcher and click it. At the welcome screen, keep clicking Next until you're asked to allow Projectivity Launcher read access. Click Allow. Then click No. Click Get Started. Once you're in, you'll notice the launcher is clean and doesn't bombard you with a bunch of ads and recommendations. If you open an app and click the back button, it'll bring you right back to the home screen of the Projectivity Launcher. But if you click the home button, it'll bring you back to the home screen of your Fire TV. And from here, you'll have to locate the Projectivity app and launch it again. To make it easier to relaunch the app, you can long press on the app icon, then move it to the top far left side. This way, it shows as the first app on your home screen. The launcher is very minimalistic, but it still allows for some customization. One of the more useful things I found it allows is the ability to add apps to your favorites list. Even though the Projectivity Launcher works great for Fire TV, I think it works a little bit better on Google TV. If you want to see how Projectivity Launcher looks on Google TV, watch this video right here.